So I want to bring to attention that Anavar alone can cause female virilization. Even though it's considered one of the safest PEDs for women to use, it is still one that can cause side effects. I've spoken about this for a few years now that every single woman is going to be different as far as what dosage, how often different factors that go into androgen load that can affect the body changes. Coming on to talk about a really sensitive topic for me. And this is something that has been very difficult for me to speak on in the past couple of years, but I wanted to clear the air, raise awareness for other women, and hopefully help other women out there who are in the bodybuilding competition world and want to better understand things that can happen to their body when they compete. So one of my biggest insecurities is my voice. Over the years, my voice has changed. I had a big challenge with my weight and my health. My vocal cords have elongated. I did a video on this a couple years ago, specifically on what causes female virilization in the vocal cords. Of course, with social media, I get a lot of comments. Oh, you sound like a man. What caused you to sound like a man? I wish I had a baritone voice like yours, even though I don't really have that deep of a voice. However, trying to hit higher pitches is actually painful for me now. So I wanna take a few moments talk about what caused it, things that people might not expect and are honestly misnomers in bodybuilding and female enhancement. I do also want to emphasize we choose this sport and at the end of the day each of us have our own choice of what we are going to do to and in our bodies. So keep that in mind. We choose our own risks and we're the only ones that have to deal with the consequences. So I want to bring to attention that Anavar alone can cause female virilization. Even though it's considered one of the safest PEDs for women to use, it is still one that can cause side effects. I've spoken about this for a few years now that every single woman is going to be different as far as what dosage, how often different factors that go into androgen load that can affect the body changes. Every single woman's gonna be different. For me, 10 milligrams of Anivar caused my voice to change. 10 milligrams of clinically dosed Anivar caused my vocal cords to virilize. However, I do want to add on that this is the most severe side effect I've experienced. I know a lot of women that get hirsutism or additional hair growth. I also know many women who've had clitoral enlargement, which to me is the most severe type of changes that you can have. So once again, this is something that has been very difficult for me and I'm still really careful about. I am on my own journey with healing my vocal cords and the damage that has happened over the past couple of years. But at the end of the day, I can only do so much naturally through vocal cord exercises. And eventually I might have to have surgery if I truly want to correct my voice so that I can reach higher pitches once more because the elongation of the vocal cords at certain points can be irreversible. So once again, even Anivar at low dose for an eight week cycle can be a risk for virilization, ladies. So share and comment below if this is helpful for you. Once again, I appreciate everyone for their support and continuing to be along my fitness journey. And hopefully we can help more women prevent these potential side effects and help women understand there are ways that we can do things without risk and we can do things the right way.